Grab, grab, grab the instruction guide for this video down below. Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business and today in QuickBooks Point of Sale, we are going to reverse a return voucher. <laughs> it's, um, I'm hesitating because it's, okay, you, you receive the inventory on a voucher and then you may send some inventory back that's bad, but then that might have been a mistake, so then you reverse the return voucher to your vendor in which case the inventory comes back to you we'll go through it it's a little confusing but you'll see <laughs> before we do that i'm going to have you click on the link down in the description below to get over to our quickbooks point of sale facebook group which is the number one place to ask your questions and get some answers from community members and store owners who are also using quickbooks point of sale just like you and if you're on YouTube today, don't forget to hit subscribe so you get all the latest, greatest QuickBooks point of sale videos coming at you all the time. Okay, so here we are in point of sale. And if I go into my receiving history, you will find at the very bottom. Actually, let me just switch it around so it's at the very top. How about that? Okay, right here at the very top, uh, I had a vendor suite merch and they sent me some stuff. And I decided that I was going to send back uh, 10 packs of Marlboros. <laughs> uh, I don't know, maybe they had rips in them or they were damaged or something like that. Now, for some whatever reason, maybe I screwed up on this return voucher when I'm returning my inventory to the vendor. I either screwed up on it or I decided, ah, I'll just keep them, who cares? I'm all out of cigarettes. Sorry, I don't smoke. This was just... A recent example in a different video um, and so I've decided that I want to keep the 10 I am no longer sending them back to my vendor and so I would highlight the return voucher which is right here and then I would say I am reversing this and there you go it is that easy what happened now is oh my gosh it got all screwed up and out of order let me get it back in order here. Okay, what happens now is that my original return voucher is now a reversed return and it creates a new document, number 48 here, in order, is now a reversing receiving voucher. And so essentially this is kind of just like a receiving voucher. So this document sent the product out and did, got it out of our inventory. This new document is kind of like a receiving voucher and it has brought the 10 quantities back in with a cost of 25. And so those even each other out and now I have the quantity of 10 back in stock and I have reversed a, a vendor return voucher. Oh my gosh, it's using because it's like going back three back and forth three times. Uh, we received the inventory in on a regular receiving voucher. We sent it back out on a return voucher, return to vendor voucher. And then we reversed the return re voucher, which ended up a reversing, receiving, receive, reverse, return. I don't know. And the stuff is back in stock. Hope that's not too confusing. That's how you do it if this would ever come up where you're sending inventory back to your vendor and then you change your mind. This is how you do it. If that was helpful to you, or not confusing, then go ahead and smash that like button down below. My name's Peter with BlackRock Business, and I'm here to help you. You have an excellent evening. Bye-bye.